Dr. S. Jay Shankar at a book launch, in fact, has said that the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. So far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, Article 370 is done. So the issue is what kind of relationship we can contemplate on with Pakistan. What I do want to say is that we are not passive and whether events take a positive or a negative direction, either way, we will react. And that is the big statement coming in from Dr. S. J. Shankar. Let's also listen in to what he had to say at that book launch. The era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. And in so far as Jammu and Kashmir is, uh, is concerned, I think 370 is done. So the issue today is what kind of relationship can we possibly contemplate uh, with Pakistan? Uh, Rajiv suggests that perhaps India is content to continue at the current level of relationship. Maybe yes, maybe no. What I do want to say is we are not passive and whether events take a positive or a negative direction, either way we will react. Let's quickly go across to Siddhant, who's bringing us those breaking inputs. Siddhant, what the uh, External Affairs Minister is saying is uh, rather a reiteration of what he's always maintained ever since he took over as India's Foreign Minister. The fact that for dialogue and diplomacy to take place between India and Pakistan, normalcy must prevail at the borders. Well, look, uh, you know, uh, I, would, I would begin by, by drawing attention to uh, the statement made by EMSJ Shankar if you remember last, last time around during the SCO summit in Goa. And, and he, at that point in time only, he made India's approach for Pakistan very, very clear mm. that India will not sit with perpetrators of uh, terrorism. And perhaps there is similar line which India has maintained till date. Today, speaking at a book launch, EM Jay Shankar has again reiterated India's position as far as Pakistan is concerned. In fact, he was speaking on uh, India's neighborhood uh, first policy and uh, India's relations with its uh, neighbors and how these relationships are time-tested. Uh, and in that only he touched upon Pakistan uh, as one of uh, our, uh, our neighbor, neighbor and uh, All right. uh, neighbor. So to which he said that the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. And, uh, and you know, we are not passive whether events take a positive or a negative direction. Either way, we will... You know, uh, Siddhant, what's very interesting is the timing of that reaction that's come in from the External Affairs Minister because remember, uh, we've also uh, broken the story just in the morning, the fact that Pakistan has extended an invite to India as far as the SEO summit is concerned. Remember last year when India was playing host to the SEO summit, uh, Shabazz Sharif had joined uh, the summit only via a video link. Is this statement also an indication of whether or not Prime Minister will be uh, paying his attendance in person? Well, absolutely. Uh, look, the timing is important because uh, uh, day before yesterday, Pakistan extended uh, the invite to India to Prime Minister Modi to participate in a uh, summit. But that invite has been extended because of the usual protocol of uh, the summit that we have to invite all the member countries. So, uh, under that, has been extended. There has not been any uh, any confirmation or denial from the Indian side uh, yet. But there is a lot of buzz that uh, that that uh, that there could be, if not Prime Minister Modi, then there could be a high level delegation which could be sent by India to participate in the SEO summit uh, in Pakistan. And amidst uh, uh, amidst this uh, information of in, of invite being extended to India, uh, this statement is coming from EAM as mentioned. All right, and, and important to also highlight uh, when Dr. Jay Shankar made that uh, statement, where was he present? Uh, could you shed more light? Well, this event is taking place at Vivekanand Foundation uh, in New Delhi, and it is uh, on the occasion of a launch of a uh, book written by uh, Founder. All right, and 
let's also shed more light on what one can expect from SCO because a lot is being discussed about how uh, the current uh, sort of uh, geopolitical climate between New Delhi and Islamabad is also taking a toll on the multilateral groupings that India and Pakistan both are part of. Having said that, what can now one expect from the upcoming SCO summit in October? Well, look, SCO Summit, India is a member of SCO. And in fact, uh, every year India attends uh, its meetings uh, at times. It was capacity at times to video conference. Last year, India was the chair. It started uh, the summit virtually. Uh, this time around, Pakistan uh, is the chair. And the invite has been extended by Pakistan uh, to India and the other uh, member countries. Uh, India will uh, take part uh, as a member country. But, uh, but who will represent India, what uh, level of representation right. India right. will send to SCO something which would really be interesting to see.